And I think that what Britain did in the United States was to form its DNA um, in very, very important ways. And I think that America, more than anything else, is a product of the British, particularly the Scottish Enlightenment. Um, and if you think of the fundamental American ten tenet about the pursuit of, uh, you know, about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that's John Locke, the mm -hmm. uh, um, second treatise, life, uh, liberty, and the pursuit, uh, uh, life, liberty, and the protection of property, estates. He talks Precisely. About. See, which that's is, the which I think is better. I think it's better. But than a, signif a significant um, change, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but, uh, yeah well, um, uh, so there's that. Well, I think there's the Protestant religion um, and that tradition. And there's the common law, and I think this combination of um, the Enlightenment and absolute fundamental respect for, 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 for property rights mm -hmm. um, was, uh, and the Protestant religion and the common law was absolutely fundamental to what America was, what is best in America, what's most important in America, plus what they rejected um, at the revolution, which is monarchs, titles, aristocrats, is also fundamental to America and fundamental to what is best about America. So I should say that the two sets of things that are best about America and that have defined it ever since its foundation are about either accepting or about rejecting things that are to do with Britain. So